That's better. We're cool like a blue light. We're cool like a blue light. It's kind of weird doing filming in a camper. Like, I have so much control over light in our studio. Not here. Not here. Mother Nature's in charge, and she'll light up what she wants to light up. Enlighten some of some ice cream. So we're going to eat it. Right after this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So we're camping in Eleanor right now, and we brought some ice cream with us. Yes, we actually asked Enlightened, can we please try that? Yeah, they had sent us those cookie dough bites, and those were delicious. Cheesecakes were good, but uh, for me a little bit too expensive. But I was looking on their website, and I'm like, yeah. oh, new flavors. So we messaged them, and I'm like, hey, could we try these? So we did not pay for these. They sent them to us, but Thank we you. requested them and we don't make any money off of Enlighten or anything like that. And even though they gave them this, these for free, you will get our real review. Like, yeah. if we don't like it, we're going to tell you. But if we like it, we're going to tell you. Well, and I wanted to try this because this is peppermint brownie. And I think this is just in time for the holidays. And this is pumpkin cheesecake. And I guess they did a collaboration because this is Enlightened plus Delish. So they added Delish. They've actually pumped in the Delish. Well, you know, Delish is like a cooking magazine, right? I know. So, okay, which one are we going to start off with? I feel like if this is super minty, we won't be able to enjoy the pumpkin. So let's so try pumpkin try first. Try pumpkin first. Okay, so we're going to taste it first. Now, I do not have my glasses, and I don't feel like going out to the car, so you're going to have to do the reading. I can help you out. On, like, the ingredients and stuff. Okay. I have a spoon. So we've had, ooh. So we've had it sitting out ooh, on the counter. What does it like smell like? Butter. It does. It smells like... Buttery. It smells like a cream cheese frosting. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, man, that smells good. Oh, my gosh. So that's inside. So it's been sitting on the counter here inside of the RV, inside of Eleanor, and we've got it at 70 degrees in here. So it's been sitting out for about 30 minutes. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This was Very perfect. creamy. Oh, my gosh. Do you used to see that? Look at that. Wow. Here you go. Thank you. There's no junk in it, doesn't look like. No junk in it. It's a smooth ice cream, but man, the oh smell. Oh my gosh, that is, I mean, I think we defrosted this like the perfect amount of time. Just enough. Ready? Dink. Dink. Wow. How did they accomplish this? Wait, gotta lick the lid. Wow. Feel good fact. The medical term for a brain freeze is... Sphero... Spephanopalatine... I'm going to put it right here. Ganglioneurological. See it? Yeah. I can't pronounce that. That is delicious. It's like a hint. It's very creamy, like almost like a butter kind of ice cream. But it's the frosting. It's got frosting on top of it. But And it's got like a hint of pumpkin spice. So it's not like overwhelming. It's not overwhelming, but I don't know mm. how they got... The frosting and the, the pumpkin flavor separate, but together. Wow, that is delicious. I mean, and again, we like ice cream that has junk in it. That is good. That is fantastic. That is good. Like, if you're a vanilla liker, a lover, but you want, like, a little bit of flavor. Like, if you like vanilla because you don't want junk in it, try this. I'm going to tell you right now what I'm going to do with one um, of these. I'm going to use your um, pie crust recipe that you made and just put that inside of just it. put it right inside of it freeze it again and now it's a uh, pumpkin pie peppermint brownie it says now it's they, worth the wait they say five to ten minutes again we had it sitting out but it just i mean i don't know i feel like this is the perfect i think it's the perfect consistency so it's red and green mm, it's kind of pink babe well like candy cane now this does have this has some junk. junk in it. This has junk in it. Looks like some chocolate. Gotta get both flavors in here. Yeah. Reminds me of Neapolitan. Yeah. 
I never liked Neapolitan because I never wanted the strawberry when I was a kid. I only wanted strawberry. We should have like been childhood friends. Yeah. I would have eaten all the strawberry for you. It just took us like 30 something years. Yeah. Dink. Dink. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is coming to Christmas. <laughs> Think mint chocolate chip ice cream. Wow. But with brownies in it. And not mm. an overwhelming amount of mint. I mean, it's minty. I just got that chunks. That is the mint best, 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 best mint chocolate chip ice cream I've ever had. Only it's not mint chocolate chip. It's mint brownie. I just got little pieces of something crunchy and I think it's like a candy cane peppermint. Going back in. Go back in. That stuff is freaking delicious. Wow. Whoop. Well. Wow. I'm not getting candy. I just got... Oh, I think it's chocolate. But they have the brownie, and they also have little tiny bits of chocolate. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to do five things. Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So I cannot read those ingredients because I don't have my glasses. I can totally help you out. Oh, wait. Feel good fact. What's the fact? The actors who provided the voices of Mickey and Minnie Mouse married each other in real life. How romantic is that? That is so cool. That is really cool fact. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so the ingredients in the most delicious peppermint brownie ice cream I've ever had are cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, almonds, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, Dutch cocoa, cream cheese, which is pasteurized milk and cream, cream and cheese, cheese. culture skim milk, coconut oil, beet for color, <clears throat> excuse me, butter, peppermint, tarragum, gore gum, monk fruit extract, natural flavor, sunflower lecithin, vanilla, and salt. Wow. Okay. Let's check a look at this one. I'm sure it's just the flavoring. So it's cream, water, erythritol, egg yolks, pumpkin, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, vegetable glycerin, milk protein concentrate, cream cheese, which is pasteurized milk and cream, cheese culture, skim milk, allulose, butter, buttermilk, buttermilk, coconut oil, natural flavor, pectin, tarragum, gore gum, carob bean gum, titanium dioxide, citric acid, lemon juice concentrate, cinnamon, annatto color, uh, annatto for color, nutmeg, monk fruit extract, salt, disodium phosphate, and lactic acid. I'm just sitting here. I know I'm not paying attention to you guys or to you. I'm just like listening to the ingredients. Do I hear anything bad? And the only thing that I hear that some people are going to question is the soluble corn fiber. And it's pretty much in all the ice creams. It doesn't affect me. And we don't eat ice cream every day. We don't even eat ice cream every week. We've kind of gotten to a point now where we've reserved it for camping. So yeah. at most, we have some every other week. And we don't have it on every camping trip. Is, so I'm fine with having a little bit of it. Is that fiber for making it softer? Is that what helping it It's be? helping with the sweetness. No, but I'll tell you what's making this so good it's is very the creamy. cream cheese. Wow. It is. I just want to eat this whole pint right now. It's so good. Okay, number two. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? I still can't read that. I can help you out. Okay, so half uh, a cup is a serving. That makes so me sad. So four in here. Four. So 190 calories per serving, 150 in the pumpkin, 17 grams of fat, 13 grams of fat, three grams of protein, pumpkin's got two grams, uh, 14 total carbohydrates, 11 total carbohydrates in this. It's the chocolate and stuff. Three fiber, one fiber, and sugar alcohols are 10, sugar alcohols are eight. So they're actually saying one net carb per serving. One net carb per serving. So if you do do net carbs, the whole pint is four. But hey, if you do total carbs, okay, which is kind of what we do, we like to do a variation of total carbs. So we pretty much do total carbs but when we have a dessert day, we say we're not going to eat more than 20 net carbs, but we up our total carbs to like 40 to 50, depending on like how often we would yeah. have something. But if you eat this entire pint 
entire pint. You would not be sad. It'd be 44 total carbs. Because it's amazing. Is that bad? It's not the greatest it's thing. It's not the greatest, but if you're only doing it once every couple weeks or once a month, I don't think it's that bad if you eat the whole pint. Usually what we do is we split a pint. We each have yeah. two servings. But I think this is perfect for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I mean, I want to eat it now, but this is fantastic for the holidays and yeah. that would be really, really good for Thanksgiving. Like my recommendation would be, I know we're not gotten to that yet, but that's what to bring for Thanksgiving, not the cheesecake they make. Yeah, but you can have our cheesecakes. So like yeah. we have all kinds of cheesecake recipes. You can have one of yeah. our cheesecakes, just not the regular cheesecake. Exactly. But go to the store and bring this to whoever's house. Nobody's gonna know it's keto. It's no, that good. I'm it's, telling you. It's really good. You know what I'm excited about? The fact that Eleanor has a freezer, so now we can bring ice cream with us when we go camping. That makes me very happy. Okay, number three. How does it taste? I don't think that we have to spend much time on this. They're both delicious. Delicious. Right. If I have to pick one. This it's one. that one, but they're both delicious. I mean, when you talk about holidays, this screams Thanksgiving. It screams Thanksgiving. It's screaming Thanksgiving, and I am telling you, go find Joe's crust recipe and put that in there, spread it all out, and freeze it, and take that oh. as 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 a Thanksgiving dessert. Everyone's gonna love it. Yeah. But this is amazing too. And, and I know that's like peppermint brownies, so you think immediately like the holidays. But it's like really a mint chocolate chip. Yeah. Like that's a year round taste. It may not be like labeled and stuff like a year round, but taste wise, I'd eat that all year round. I don't need the holidays to eat that flavor. It's a mint chocolate chip, but with brownies. Yes. Thank you. Number four, how much do they cost? Now I don't know if they have these in the stores. In our local stores, I have not seen these flavors. I do know that our local like Publix sells these ice creams for five ninety nine, and some of them are six ninety nine, depending on where Super I go. Super reasonable. Yeah, so if I go into like the one by our house, it's five ninety nine. But if we go to the ones up towards Orlando, they're six ninety nine. But they go on sale a lot. Right now on their website, there if you're gonna pick out individual, you like I want one of this one, and I want one of that one, and I want one of this one, then it's eight dollars a pint. But they also have a package of these where you get four of that flavor okay. and four of this flavor. It's $56. That drops it to $7 a pint. And again, we don't make any money off of no. them. The only thing we get is when there's a new flavor out, we, we message them and say, hey, please, can you can send it to it? us so we can do a review on it? That's it. We don't make any money. But we did ask in exchange for that. We would like a coupon code for you guys. So it's, I believe, two crazy ketos. I'll leave it down in the description. That gets you 10% off. So it saves you a little bit of money on it. We did our best. We did our best. Number five, would we recommend it? abso freaking lutely This is the type of stuff that I would have the kids eat also, especially if they like mint. Now, if you're not a mint chocolate chip person, you're not going to like this. Some people really don't like mint. Right. But this is really good. If you like mint even a little bit, you're going to love this. And that is absolutely fall in a cup. Honestly, Autumn in a cup. I'm going to say this. I mean, there's three keto ice creams that we we eat or we have eaten on a regular basis. And when I say regular basis, when we have ice cream. Yeah. Enlightened. Yep. Killer Creamery. And Rebel Creamery. Yes. Enlightened is quickly becoming my favorite. It tastes very much like a Baskin Robbins flavor. Like you get a power packed amount of flavor in these. So I don't mind paying six dollars a pint, seven dollars a pint, eight dollars. And a they're pint. all about the same price and they all pretty much have close to the same ingredients. But this is like the lowest in total carb. We're not even looking at net carb and like are they doing anything wonky? Total carb. This is the lowest. They have the coolest amount of flavors. They taste delicious, and they're readily available in most stores. And so they have junk in them a lot. I of really times. like that. I just like them. To, I'd like to see them get all of the flavors into the stores. Yes. Like they have that one bar, which is my favorite. The one where it's like the chocolate with the peanuts on the outside. Can't ever find it, and it's always sold out on the website. Yeah. So I'd like to see all of the flavors get into the stores. Well, that's going to be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have a complete playlist of all different types of product reviews, which you're going to find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we try ice cream, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.